Jimmy Kimmel chokes up as he talks about the death of Bob Saget. I'm sorry I taped this like 14 times and I, I, I just... He struggled through the emotional tribute taped without an audience. He recalled having Saget and his Full House co-star John Stamos as guests in 2017. We never imagined that four and a half years later we'd be talking about... And we're learning more details about the beloved comedian's passing. He was found dead in room 962, a suite at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Orlando like this. According to hotel records, he entered the suite at 2.17 a.m. Sunday. In a just-released 911 call, a dispatcher insists hotel staff make certain that all hope was gone. Please tell me exactly why it looks like he's dead. He's not breathing, he's not moving. No fault. He's cold, super cold. Do you think he's beyond any help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When police arrived, the room was orderly, with items owned by Mr. Saget on the nightstand, TV stand, and bathroom. Forensic pathologist Priya Banerjee. He could have had a stroke. He could have had something called an aortic dissection, which is tearing of the largest blood vessel that delivers blood to the body. On the Howard Stern radio show in 1988, he spoke about the deaths of his sisters and a history of heart disease in his family. Do you ever worry about your health? I mean, yeah, well, yeah. I had all my uncles died from like, uh, three of them died from heart attacks at like 38 to 40. You won't mind if I don't shake your hand at the end of this interview. Saget recently suffered a bad bout of COVID. It is not good. It does not feel good. I had it. He was fully vaccinated. And on December 13th, he joked about getting a booster just a few days earlier. I went to the pharmacy the other day. I got a, a, a booster shot, and uh, I, I should have gotten it in my arm, but I got it in my butt. So I'm a little, I'm a little pain. But um, <laughs> they give you an option. On January 5th, he called into an Orlando podcast and indicated he had not shaken the virus. He had already recently gone through it, just like we had. Um, and he mentioned that he was on cold medicine. In Los Angeles, the cast of Full House paid their respects to Saget's grieving widow, Kelly Rizzo, who said, I am so completely shattered and in disbelief. There they were, Jody Sweeten, John Stamos, and Candace Cameron Bure. In a joint tribute issued with the Olsen twins, they said, we became a real family and now we grieve as a family. Bob made us laugh until we cried. Now our tears flow in sadness. Saget's ex-wife Sherry also came carrying white orchids. We spoke to his close friend, comedian Gilbert Gottfried. I think people who knew him, like me, will remember him as a really great guy. And I think the world's in shock over this one. 